Hi again, I'm Mike Aguilera for Student Stock. Um, on a previous um, video, I showed you how to make this ring right here. And if you get a chance to take a look at it, that'll tell you how to get started because today's uh, video is going to take it from the assumption that you know how to make this ring that you're seeing right here. Um, because what we're going to do with that ring is show you how to do this. Notice how these rings go over and under, over and under. It looks like the Olympic ring. In fact, that's what I copied this from, is using that layout. And uh, I'd like to show you how you do that. Um, let's go back to this ring right here. And we'll use this one to show you how we did these others. So I'm going to bring this ring over to here. There it is. I'm going to turn off all of these others. And first thing I want to show you is how quickly, how quick you could make a duplicate copy of a of a layer. There's our layer right there. Let's ignore all these because that's our main ring, and we have a background. If you push Command Option, you'll notice how. In your move tool, it looks like there's doubles. And if you just move it over, you'll see that it makes a duplicate copy and it makes an instant second layer. So I'll take that layer and I'll spread it over here. And I quickly get a whole series of layers without having to do much to make them. So there you have five layers. I'm going to move all five of those layers to the center of this picture. I'm clicking on all five of these layers, holding shift, and now I can move them all at once. Okay, how do you make it go over and under? I think it would make things easier if I change all the color of each of these rings. So, this ring right here, I've clicked on it, it's chosen right there, I do command U for hue saturation, and I just change in the color really quickly. I'll do that for each of these real fast, command U, We'll go this direction on that one. <clears throat> Click on this one. Command U. Bump up the saturation a little bit. And let's make this one purple. Last one, which is blue now. Command U. Let's go for red. There we go. That'll make it a lot easier. Let's make this ring right here. I'm going to zoom in. I want this ring to look like it's on going on top of this ring right here. And this is how you'll do the whole technique. I won't do all of them, but this is how you'll do each one of these. Grab your um, any of these tools that you can make marching ants with. This one is the rectangular marquee tool. <clears throat> Excuse me. And make a box. Take your move tool. Make sure you're on this layer. There it is right there and do command J for making a layer. <clears throat> I've just made a layer of just this area. If I take that layer and put it on top, you'll see it pop right on top of this lid. There's that piece, it's that simple. You can see now when I back up, that here is that piece of that ring going on the top of this one and then goes underneath it. I'll do another one for you real quick. I'll do that on this layer right here. I choose the layer. I always like to make sure I've chose the right layer by turning the eye on and off. Grab this tool, make a box, do Command J. There's that layer just made and put it on top. It's that simple. Now you have complete control of your layers and you can continue doing that in any fashion that you choose. Just pick the one that's on the bottom that you want to put on top. Keep an eye out for some new stuff coming up, and we'll see you next time. This is Mike Agliolo for Student Stock. I'll see you later.